आज आपको शुरू करते हैं टॉपिक इस प्रेशर इन फ्लोर्स विदाउट एडिंग फ्लोर आल्सो एक्सर्ट प्रेशर दिस प्रेशर इज मेयर वी टेक द कंटेनर दैट इज फुल ऑफ वाटर दिस कंटेनर इज फुल ऑफ वाटर द हाइट ऑफ द वाटर इज लेट्स राइट इट विद एच एंड द एरिया इज डिनोटेड बाय ए वी नो दैट द we know that the density of water is denoted by rho now we can measure the pressure exerted by fluid we can measure pressure exerted by fluids we know the formula of the pressure that is pressure is is equal to force per unit area pressure is denoted by p force is denoted by f area is denoted by a here we know the area of the container but we don't know the force we can calculate the force by the weight of the water that is acting downward this force is equal to the weight of the water so we can write f is equal to weight weight is denoted by w w is that is equal to the mg now we don't know the mass of the water mass of the water can be calculated by using density formula density is equal to mass over volume we know that density is denoted by rho mass is denoted by m volume is denoted by v so we can calculate the mass of the water by density formula mass is equal to the density into volume But we don't know the volume. Volume is can be calculated by we know that the volume is equal to the base area multiplied by height. Here we can calculate the volume. V is equal to area is multiplied by a height is is area is multiplied by h. So put this formula into this mass formula. Mass formula is equal to mass is equal to density or volume is equal to area into height. Now we can calculate the force. Force that is formula is equal to f is equal to mass into gravity. We know that the mass that is value is f is equal to rho area into height multiplied by g. Now this force is put in the formula that is Pressure is equal to force divided by area. Put the formula of the force that is density area height or gravity. Put it this value in this formula. Here we see that the area area cancel, so we can get the final formula that is rho h g. So we can measure the density of the load, the pressure of the float by density height and gravity of the water. Pressure in floats acting in all direction. If we look the glass of water that is full of water, glass of Water. This glass of water, we could not say that the pressure is only acting on downward direction because the particles are able to move over each other because particles of water move and flow over each other. So, pressure in liquid liquid act in all direction. Pressure in liquid act in all direction. Particles because the particles in the liquid flowing around. so the exact uh, pressure side of the container also as the particles in the liquid that they are flowing around they also colliding over each other when they are colliding also exact pressure in the side of the glass of the water so the pressure acting in all direction we know that the pressure is increase with depth pressure increase with depth so this will take the container that is full of water with three holes that are coming out of it these are holes Can you ever think about what it would like if we open these three holes to allow the water out? Well, here we open the hole of the container. What we see that there is a top hole that is under least pressure that cover a least distance because it under the most least pressure and force. If we look at the, the dog, go down. Uh, if we go down, if you go down the look the hole here, it is the under most pressure and force. So pressure increases with depth, so the much greater force pushing out the water out. So it travels a distance a lot further. The top hole is water travels a distance small. The bottom hole. Which water is coming out of this? That it travels a distance, a lot. So we can say that the pressure increases with depth. When the pressure is increased, so water also covers the distance more. This concept is really important for engineers that are building dams because the dam wall holds a large volume of water. So because the pressure is uh, dense wall hold a large volume of water we know that the pressure is increased with depth when the pressure is increased so the wall of the dams are much thicker at the bottom because it hold a large volume of water behind this 